Championship titles. To a professional wrestler, there is no greater prize. Whoever wears the gold may stake their claim as the best in the world. Heavyweights, cruiserweights, tag teams. It matters not who they fight, but why they fight. And there is no greater reason to fight than for championship gold. Today, we look at the very best representation of championship gold in action figure form. That's right! Today, we look at the very best WWE Mattel championship title belts. Trying to come up with the list for the top 10 Mattel championship belts was near impossible. I mean, look at this. These are just my honorable mentions. So many of these could have been in the top 10. In fact, any one of these could have been number one. They are all highly detailed. They perfectly capture the look and feel of the real life belts. Mattel does an amazing job on these and I cannot commend them enough. So without further ado, I say we find out what my top 10 favorite WWE Mattel belts are. Kicking off the list at number 10 is the modern version of the Cruiserweight Championship. First unveiled at the end of the CWC tournament, it was won by TJ Perkins and in action figure form, it looks incredible. The silver plates just really pop on this purple strap. I of course would have preferred maybe more of a gold and black scheme to it, but for what we got here, I think this is amazing. It reminds me of Iron Man's arc reactor, the one in his chest, so it just breathes life into this title. I also love all of the sharp angles to the plates. First included with the network spotlight TJ Perkins, you can also get it with the Elite 54 Rich Swan. however for my money, I would get this belt with the Elite 55 Neville. Sometime after the first brand split, we started to notice some new championship titles popping up. One of my favorites was the WWE World Tag Team Championships. These look a lot like the Undisputed title in the best way possible. And I absolutely love the slimmer design of the center plates and the way they kind of sort of cut in on the sides. Very cool. The red globe just really makes it stand out. You could just tell that these represent Monday Night Raw. The right and left side plates each have a member of a tag team going at it. I mean, that's really cool to see how an actual tag team is represented on the belts. I love the bold WWE logo on the end plates. You can get these belts with the Elite 10 Big Show or the Ringside Collectibles Exclusive Championship Collectors Pack. This one might be a little bit controversial. So at number eight is the United States Championship Spinner version. This one comes with the Defining Moments John Cena and with the Champ Is Here Toys R Us Exclusive John Cena. The center plate is uniquely designed to fit John Cena when he was the doctor of thugonomics. The flag really pops on the center plate. The center plate does spin. The side plates are gorgeous with the US flag and then the US initials um, wrapped around a star. Very cool. You can actually see stars on the strap itself. Word freaking life, man. At number seven, it is the workhorse championship of the WWE. It is the intercontinental title. I went for the more modern look. This is the one that Cody Rhodes debuted back in, I believe it was 2011, when he ditched the oval Attitude Era belt for this one. This has a great throwback to the classic Intercontinental Championship of the 80s and 90s. I just love the way the center plate looks, how it just kind of looks like it's a couple of different plates stacked on top of each other. The banner that says Intercontinental Wrestling Champion looks so nice. The side plates are cool, you got the WWE logo and some wrestlers going at it in front of it. There's a more modern version of it with like the Elite 58 Dean Ambrose, but I prefer this one. You can get him with the John Laurinaitis Build-A-Figure Christian, Elite 32 Big E, or Elite 24 Wade Barrett. 
It was only a matter of time before the big gold belt made its way onto this top 10 list. I prefer the version without the NWO graffiti even though those do look pretty awesome. This belt has a lot of prestige and lineage to it and I think Mattel did a wonderful job capturing this in action figure form. You can perfectly make out all of the little details on it. The etching on it is incredible. The banner where it says World Heavyweight Champion looks awesome. The globe, the crown, the big red jewel pieces. This belt comes with a lot of different wrestlers, so you're not going to have any trouble finding it. I would pick it up with the Fan Central Triple H, though. The next generation of WWE superstars needs a belt fitting for their brand. And I think the NXT Championship, the 2012 to 2017 run, perfectly captures that. This belt is uniquely designed and also uniquely minimal. All it has on its center plate is NXT. There's a big giant X on there. It's impossible to miss. The super wide strap and the six side plates, for some reason to me, almost look like a film reel, like you're watching future talent being developed right in front of your eyes. It's incredible. You can get this belt with the GameStop exclusive Samoa Joe, the Target NXT TakeOver Wave Seth Rollins, the Elite 43 Kevin Owens, or for my money, get it with the Elite 40 Sami Zayn. This has to be the best tag team championship belt of all time. In my opinion, it definitely is. The unique shape of the center plate, I just love the way that looks. It's so freaking big. It was actually bigger than the Winged Eagle Championship, which was the main belt. So it's just cool that the tag belt was so much better than the world title at the time, at least in my opinion. The World Tag Team Championship belts have a giant eagle spreading its wings all over the place. It looks awesome. Standing on top of the world globe, the colors on it are great. I love all the intricate designs on the center plate. The banner that says Tag Team Champions looks awesome. This belt first debuted as a Matty Collector with Arn Anderson and Tully Blanchard, but has been since re-released, so it is much easier to find. Now this right here, in real life, is actually my favorite championship of all time. It is the WWE Championship. This belt is the Winged Eagle Championship on steroids. I love the way the circular plate looks. There's a giant eagle mounting the world. It looks awesome. The big WWE logo looks incredible. I love the font on the championship banner and all the spears sticking through the center plate. There's four giant square shaped side plates. They look pretty damn cool. This belt just represents so much of the Attitude Era. I love it. You can get this belt with the network spotlight Vince McMahon, with the defining moments Chris Jericho, or you can get it with the ringside collectibles exclusive Bionic Redneck Stone Cold Steve Austin, and he comes with another belt. And that belt is the Smoking Skull Championship. This belt was uniquely designed for Stone Cold Steve Austin. It's the first time I ever saw a title belt just made for one individual wrestler. It let you know that Austin was that big of a deal. He was the top guy in professional wrestling. And this belt perfectly captures his personality. The center plate has a giant smoking skull with the red WWE logo. There's two rattlesnakes flanking him. The championship banner is incredible. The side plates have rattlesnakes. The back of the title sadly does not have the snake skin, but that's okay. I absolutely love this belt. When it comes to WWE Mattel figure belts, this one is truly undisputed. The WWE Undisputed Championship. This belt takes everything, everything I love about the previous titles and just mashes them all into one. You've got that giant eagle adorned on top of a globe. Same as what the tag team titles did and it in some way pays tribute to the Winged Eagle title of the past. You've got these graphic star designs flying out of it. The championship banner looks incredible. I love the slimmer design of the center plate. And it has a ton of side plates. Like, why does it have so many side plates? I don't understand it, but it looks awesome. There's two on the right, three on the left. It's just incredible. You can get this belt with the next big thing, Brock Lesnar. He has a much bigger version of the title. The Elite 55 Undertaker, he's got the shiny version, but I prefer this one that came with the WWE Legend Series, Eddie Guerrero. Well, that's gonna wrap up my top 10 WWE Mattel figure belts. 
So let me know in the comment section, which ones were your guys' favorites? Did your favorite get left off the list? Do you think I might have put these out of order? I want to know what you guys think, so please fill out a list of your own in the comment section below. Let me know what you think. I'm really, really interested to find out which belts you guys prefer and which belts you want to see. I'm hoping we get the WCW Cruiserweight Championship soon and the United States Championship from WCW. Hell, even the TV title. I love the WCW belts. Anyway, this was Chase and Am Bison. We'll see you next time.